Chris Knight and the Pimps. of people have tried in many ways to get mankind together. So we decided we'd offer our little suggestion, and that is the friendship train. And the way we feel about it, you've got to get started somewhere, somehow. Right on, well, well. Right on the friendship train. Why don't you ride on, ride, ride, ride on the friendship train. Send your mind as well. Ride on, ride. If you will, let's everybody get on the friendship train by putting your hands together right here. Come on, everybody. Yeah, that's how you do it. Well, 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 got a ticket to ride. Well, 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 you got a ticket to ride. Well, 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 you got a ticket to ride. Well, well, well. Shoot! 
special and we really have a great great show for you this morning uh, I'd like to introduce the three young men standing here behind me for 20 years we've been singing all day every day and three times on Sunday yeah. ladies yeah. and gentlemen the pips Y'all so fresh. What, what? <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you. What'd you say? What's, what's happening? Can you, you can't hear me, man? No, no, no. I think you're going to take that down and talk over. Oh, oh, that's all right. That's, that's all right. what I they call it. That's the boom. That's the boom. Yeah. That's the boom. You sure that's the boom? That's, that's the boom. boom. That's the boom. Yeah. yeah. All right. So lead the hand back and talk to, <laughs> to the boom. All right. I'll talk to the boom then. You, uh, uh -huh. you see the young man to my far right, right here, the sexy one, oh. is, <coughs> <laughs> is William Guest. Oh. Uh, that's my cousin uh, uh, on my father's side. <laughs> and uh, he's also a, a very, very good writer. He was co-writer on one of our million sellers, I Don't Want to Do Wrong. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and in the center, we have uh, Mr. Edward Patton. Now oh, do what? Lay it on you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is also my cousin. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is my cousin on my mother's side. <laughs> Sweet mom. Sweet mom. <laughs> and and uh, standing next to me is Meryl Knight. And, uh, And uh, next on our show, we have a very, very talented Wait gentleman who is Excuse really going to do his thing for Excuse you. Excuse me, Gladys. And, uh, Excuse me, honey. What do you want? I would appreciate it if you would, you know, run a little something down on me like you did everybody else. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I realize that you haven't host the Midnight Special before, and it's all new to you. I realize mm -hmm. this. I'm having a good time, man. Yeah, well, I you can know. dig that, but I would appreciate it if you would, you know, kind of tell them a little something about right. me, too. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, well, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, my brother, Meryl Knight. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think you understand what I mean. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I would like to get, I would like to get from you my just dues like you gave everybody else. His what? Your what? what? My just dues. Uh, your just dues? Yes. Yeah, uh, okay, I'll tell you what. To make it up to you, you'll have the honor of introducing our first guest. Oh, me? <laughs> Yeah, you. Oh, yeah. And? You gonna be right there? Yeah. Yeah, if, if you get in trouble, man, the three of us will be right here to help you out. That's right. Yeah. right. Okay. okay. You think you can help? Who, me? Yeah, you. Let me in that microphone. Y'all stand back now. The boom. The boom, what? man. Watch the boom. Oh, the boom. Oh. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, my first guest oh, is gonna... Oh, oh. <laughs> You're in trouble already. What do you mean? Yeah. It's not your first guest. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't that kind of group, you know. Right. That's right. It's our first guest. There you go. Yeah, would you watch the fingers? That kind of hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but okay. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. our first guest. Yay! <laughs> Like that, huh? Yeah. Get to him, Bubba. It was a far out dude, you know. Right on. Right. This cat. This cat. Yeah. Has a monstrous big hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sock it to him, yeah, man. No. Sock it's it to him. On the charts, too. Sock it to him. Come on up. The name of it is Right Place, Wrong Time. Right on. Watch yourself. Right. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know what I'm talking about.
right song Must sing a wrong line Hit us in a bad place Wonder what it's there for I took a right trip Made it in the wrong call And I've been running Trying to catch some up in my mind Got to give myself a good talking to this guy Need a little brain salad So it should be Security. I've been in the right place, but I've been the wrong time. I've been singing the right choice, but I've been the wrong kind. I've been in the right vein, but I've been the wrong mom. I've been in the right way, seems like a wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> and standing room only, wherever they appeared, you know? Yeah. And uh, they've established themselves as one of the world's most important gospel rock groups. You know, best. I'm so proud of them. Me Aren't too, you? me too. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the Staple Singers. singers.
Big Gang Dick uh, some years back. The Kingston Trio was a very popular and successful recording group. Now, our next guest was once a member of that group. And over the years, he has established himself as a fine writer, singer, and concert performer also. And we are happy he was able to join us this morning. How about let's give him a warm midnight special welcome to John Stewart. Yeah. Here we are at Midnight Special Nationwide TV. Arnie, just as I promised, all dressed up, staying up late. Here's a song about a kid who uh, runs away from home at the age of nine because his mother is a triple Virgo. And you know how neat triple Virgos can be. They can drive you crazy. His mother was so neat that when he was a little kid, he would put his tooth under the pillow, and she would sneak in in the middle of the night and brush it <laughs> under the pillow. So this song then is uh, for all kids nine years old who run away from home. It's called Road Away. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> San Jose, he was just a boy of nine, and he'd only grown a mile to find. He didn't have a dime, he didn't have a dime. He said, Mama, have you got a dollar? Oh, Mama, when you're off the phone. Oh, but Mama kept talking and the boy kept walking without a road of his own.
Before we go any further, we want to remind you that your host next week will be Jim Croce, and joining Jim will be Argent, the Stylistics, hey, hey, Slade, Gun Hill Road, the Statler Brothers, Maxine Weldon, and more. <laughs> and more. And more. <laughs> hey, you know what? I had the unique experience as a woman of performing on stage the night before I gave birth to my daughter, Kenya. And I was attending a club watching another group perform the night before I gave birth to my son, James. Now, you know I love myself some music, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a young lady with us this morning who's in somewhat a similar situation. She's pregnant and just about due. <laughs> She's a member of a great group, and they're going to perform for you tonight. The name of the group is Skylark. They're currently enjoying a big hit called Wildflower. So without any further ado, <laughs> adieu, adieu. Skylark. <laughs> And many times her eyes fall back the tears And when her youthful world was about to fall in Each time her slender shoulders bore the weight of all her fears And a sorrow
touch her For she'll awaken And sleep's the only freedom that she knows And when you walk into her eyes well, you won't believe The way she's always paying For a debt she never owes And a silent wind still blows That only she can hear and so Our next guest is doing this show this morning while on his honeymoon. So if he comes out with a big smile on his face before he says anything funny, please bear with him. Here's the child of the 50s, Robert Klein. Reverend, will you help me out with something here? Sure. I want you to demonstrate something. Okay. Since I've been doing a lot of music concerts and college concerts and things like that, I've been having difficulty with what I call a handshake conflict. Mm -hmm. That is, these days you put out your hand to shake someone's hand and you don't know what handshake you're gonna get back. You go to hot, right, uh, right on, you don't know what to do. You get left in the lurch. You give someone a regular, give you a hip, take your thumb off. I'd like to demonstrate the four basic handshakes with red. Uh, first is your regular handshake. All right, red. And you've got your hip uh, or right on handshake. <laughs> That's actually your hip with variations. Your hip is just this alone. Then, of course, the uh, athletic smack after a home run or a touchdown or something. Hey! A lot of now, if I left out your favorite handshake, please don't be offended. There are many varieties. I've led these the fraternity twomp, you know, hey! Hawaii, you know, those various uh, <laughs> secret society handshakes. I think. Uh, you know, I mean, a simple way to cure this anxiety of what handshake is, if we can just tell what handshake we're gonna give before we give it. Just, hi, Robert Klein, regular, how are you? <laughs> Thank you, Red. How about a hand for Red for help? No talking. Get, give him a zero. There'll be a test on this afterwards. I was the guy who was a, uh, one time I was a substitute teacher about eight years ago, and uh, it's the kind of job you never know when you'll be working day to day. You depend on a call from a school principal to wake you up in the morning. Uh, let me describe it to you. A cold winter morning in New York, I'm curled up in my bed in womb position, having a sex dream invariably. <laughs> maybe, maybe not actually, but symbolically. Hot dogs chasing donuts through the Lincoln Tunnel. Whatever, it's a sex dream. <laughs> We never, uh, we never dream directly about sex. Always, you know. Didn't you ever have that dream where they're dancing? Eh, Bob, Reba, eh, the hot dogs and the donuts and the cool. I have that, right? Most people must be crazy. When you're awakened out of a deep sleep, the person that wakes you up always asks, did I wake you? And you deny it, you know. No matter what web of garbage you're removing from your mouth and eyes, you deny it. And I wake you, no, you didn't wake me. No, just lying down. You know, anyway, I was just lying down about 12 hours, I guess. I was lying. It's a long lie down. No, I wasn't. People don't like to be caught napping at six in the morning. 
you don't know who it could be. And so the, you tend to overcompensate and try to sound awake in a hurry. You know, ring, hoo! You come right over to it. <laughs> Would you ever test your voice before you get on? Oh! Oh! Hello? <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Klein. This is Mr. Torelli, Jefferson Junior High School. Good morning, Mr. Torelli. I didn't wake you, did I, Mr. Klein? Oh, no, Mr. Torelli, I was just reading the Bible. <laughs> That's good. Uh, That's good, Mr. Klein. Can you come in for Miss Pringle, our German teacher? She's absent this morning. I don't know any German. No German at all? Sauerkraut. Solid. Be there at 9.20. <laughs> and spell your name right. You know, hang up. When you try to start your car on a cold winter morning, the car seems to talk to you in a kind of poem of twisted, frozen steel. You know, put the key in the ignition, you go, please don't try to stop me. Please don't try to stop me. Leave me alone. Oh, 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 oh. Leave me alone. Oh, 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 oh,
understand that it's really, it's really, oh yes it is, it's out of my Such a night, such a night, sweet confusion under the moonlight, such a night.
it, you know somebody else will. If I don't do it, you know somebody else will. Such a night. Such a night. We got a great show here tonight. And listen, I have a little poem for you called The Ode to the Midnight Special before we continue on. Here it is. Oh, grass is green and sometimes brown, but always nice to have around. <laughs> Roses are red and the sky is blue. Now, when there's no smog, it's so nice to peek through. So if you down and on a bummer, we got good news for you, my friends. The Midnight Special has been renewed for the summer. Yeah. Da, 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 da. 
I wrote this song about uh, 10 years ago. I was 11 at the time. I wrote it with John Phillips, who you remember wrote uh, California Dreamin' and Monday Monday and all those great uh, mamas and papas hits. And I just wonder, John, why you never call anymore. The song is called Chilly Winds. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Skylark. <laughs> this young pregnant lady is B.J. Foster, who is married to David Foster, of course. And uh, I understand the baby really moves to music. It is moves, that right? moves to just about anything but music and yeah. music. It, I get elbows and it rolls around and it yeah. definitely I, lets I, me know he's there. I know how it is, you know, yeah. those knots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you decided on a name or names for the baby? Yeah, we decided to call it, if it's a boy, Jed, David, and if it's a girl, Amy, Skylark. Skylark. Oh, oh that's, that's beautiful. Cute. Really pretty, like the song mm -hmm. Wildflower, you know. Did David write it? No, 
I wish he did, <laughs> but uh, he didn't. Uh, Wildflower was written by a couple of friends of ours at home, uh, mm -hmm. the ex-guitar player in the band, and a guy that uh, is a cop. A what? A cop. He <laughs> oh, writes songs. He sits in his patrol car and writes songs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing a cop ever wrote me was a ticket. <laughs> Across the nation. 
had a ball this morning. And don't forget that your host next week will be Jim Croce. Right on. <laughs> And they're gonna really, really sock it to you. You know, thank you all so very much for coming. Thank you out there in television land for tuning in with us this evening. We'd like to thank this fantastic orchestra for doing such a great job this evening under the direction of our very own Mr. Al Thompson on drum. We also have Mr. Jerry Patterson on guitar. and Mr. Kerry Harris on bass. We, we've really, really enjoyed spending this evening with you and we found a new meeting for our last million selling record. Uh, we found out that it can not only apply to two people being in love, but also to spending a joyful evening with friends as we have with you this evening. And when we sing this song, we'll always, always remember this night when we say, Neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. It's sad to think we're not gonna make it. It's gotten to the point Well, we just can't fake it Ooh, for some ungodly reason We just won't let it die I guess neither one of us to be the first to say goodbye. Now 